out today we're going to take a little golf cart ride I understand they've got the Hillsboro Trail back open again it's been closed all this time while they were building the uh, wood shop and I had heard it was going to be closed until September and, and I said yay <laughs> But they're going faster on the wood shop than what they expected, I think. So they, they do have it have it open. Yeah, I think a lot of the walkers really kind of enjoyed the fact. I hope you're not getting too much wind because we're in the golf cart. And there's nothing really I can do about the wind in the golf cart. But I think a lot of the walkers really kind of like the idea of the golf cart trail being closed. Because they could walk it. And they didn't have to worry about golf carts coming down through there and running over them. Yeah, it was a big difference. We're on Hillsboro Trail right now. I've got both cameras going. The one that will be recording most of this will be the one out the front. The one on the side, which is looking at Evans Prairie right now, I'm going to do a voiceover on that so there won't be any wind noise because this uh, microphone is not hooked up to the camera on the side so I know it's picking up a ton of wind noise. It's a little breezy today. It's not too hot. It's about 112 in the shade. <laughs> it's not quite that bad, but it's uh, warm. <laughs> this time of year, this is the time of year that, that's why I advise people to come down in the summer months. I mean, I don't have a problem with it in most cases, but I do in some cases. Uh, if I work out in the yard, I just wear out fast because it's been so hot. And so sometimes, like doing the simplest things, like trimming the bushes, where you have to trim them, you have to rake up all the stuff, put them in a bag, set them out for yard waste pickup and all that. In Indiana, I would probably do that in, in an hour. And then, you know, do other things during the day. Down here, it might take me all day to do that. Because I do a little bit, I get hot, and then I go inside and I turn the TV on, have a glass of tea, then I go outside, do a little more, and then I go inside. Maybe that's part of being old, I don't know, but uh, I don't like it. But yeah, here's the golf cart trail here. <clears throat> and it is open. I don't know how much of this wood shop I'll be able to take a uh, picture of to show you. They got the outside, apparently, Sue tells me, the outside looks done. They're on the inside, I think, trying to finish everything up. I don't know what the uh, done date is supposed to be, but... I'm, I'm figuring August or September, because they said the trail was going to be closed that long, so I think that's what they was expecting. But like I, I do think they are ahead on it. I get at least a good picture of it. See what the outside looks like. And like I said, they may have the gates locked because this is a weekend, and if there's nobody there working, they'll have it locked up. I am under the understanding, though, that they put up a permanent stop sign there because the driveway that goes into the wood shop crosses the golf cart path. So there's a permanent stop sign there. Going down this side of Buena Vista is my preferred way of taking a golf cart. The other side isn't bad. It's no big deal really. I just prefer to go down this side. Coming up, now you'll see out of the side camera, is the Eisenhower Rec Center. Parking lot still two-thirds empty. I don't even know if they got anything going on over there, but it's uh, fairly well empty. Okay, let me make sure I come to a complete stop before some of my viewers <laughs> start raising cane. Oh yeah, come to a complete stop. And they do have things going on at, at Eisenhower, but not inside. The Rec Center itself is closed. Uh, but they they still have the uh, water volleyball the, and uh, I think the yeah, exercise the, classes. Here's the permanent stop sign. It wasn't here. And yes, they do have the gate shut. Yeah. And it's not only shut, but it's 
kind of blinding, really. Yeah. But nice and anyway, I, I don't know if you guys can see or not through there. Um, That's where I took pictures, was in between the gates, if it wasn't open. But yeah, it's that's it. You find this big water tower right here by Brownwood, and that's where the wood shop is. So, I ain't been down to Brownwood for a while. Let's go through the double tunnels and uh, see what's going on down there. Probably not much of anything on a Sunday. Oh, by the way, somebody was asking when are we going to take our next RV trip. It's been kind of hard. I've been, I've been really been dwelling into it. Uh, most campgrounds are closed, and uh, you don't know which ones are open, which ones ain't open, because the way they post them on the computer, if they call for. For information or this or that, and some of them opened and and closed again because of the uptick in the virus. So I said what they said last week. If they were open, it, you know they may not be open this week. Obviously, that guy was lost. He's stopping in the middle of a roundabout in his golf cart. You'll see golf carts out here in the middle of the night with no lights on. So anyway, here's the bank. I wanted to show you something. If you come down here, there's only one Citizens Bank downtown, Brownwood. This is it. So I'm going to show you where that other golf cart trail comes out, where that guy probably is going to be, the guy that was lost. Let me see if I can do it over here. You see them golf carts over there? Oh, what am I pointing for? They can't see me. But anyway, that's the golf cart trail. Oh, and by the way, let me show this too. This swamp that you see here, this is where Larry's girlfriend was at. Right in there. Larry the Gator. Yeah, Larry the Gator <laughs> that they took out of here. He'd roam over here about once a year. I don't know exactly where she's at in there. It's hard to tell. But she has uh, baby alligators in there, where she did every year. And sometimes you'd see them out on the golf cart trail crawling around. Yeah. But and I, I think there is a, another one in there that took Larry's place now. But I haven't seen I, haven't I don't seen come any. this way anymore because of that. But but I... Uh, I don't know how old they got to be to be a breeding age either. So Larry, he would wander over here. And she'd chase him out when she was done with him. And he'd wander back over there. And he'd stay there <laughs> the rest of the year. Yeah. But the babies would, would want to go over to the water. And I said, because that's what I'd see going across the, the road there was the, the baby alligators. And I didn't even know that's what they were. They, uh, they looked like striped snakes at the time because they were so little. So, if you look, this is um, where the golf cart trail is, right there. Where that lady's going in right there. Did somebody run over the thing again? I think they just painted it. No, there was a metal one there with a horse on top of oh, it. Oh, I don't know. No, they changed it. Some of these people, the golf cart, I swear to God, I don't know how they run into this stuff. Here's the lofts. Uh, the roads are open. I'm going to see if I can go in there to give you kind of a look-see. The gates are up. The lofts of Brownwood right here. People are starting to move in, according to Sue. I don't know that. Well, I but, think yeah, 15. I, I do see people in yeah. here. Drive around here and see what we got. Yeah, they got garages here. Yeah. Here's the uh, garages. I'm kind of swinging the golf cart so you can see them. Somebody told me the garages was not included in the rent. I don't know that. I'm just telling you what I'm told best thing to do is call the villages, uh, whoever rents these out, it's got to be a villages company here somewhere. There's a, one and, open down there. And they'll tell you. But somebody told me that amenity fees was not included in the rent. I thought it was. 
garage rental if you want to rent a garage space that's extra there's one here that's open so you can see what you got it's just a little area for your golf cart really I'm not sure you can even get a car in there well. and this is a small car like a Volkswagen beetle bug <laughs> well it doesn't have to be that small mm -hmm. I can get mine in there mm, maybe I don't know it's hard to tell it looks small to me yeah well it's, it's not big but but yeah I could get my car looks like most of them do come with a balcony not a very that one there's not a very big balcony mm -hmm. that's a stairway well, I do have a balcony, but I gotta tell you, it looks like it's about wide enough for a chair. <laughs> it ain't very big. Now these balconies look a little bigger here. And you know what it and is? They're screened in too. These oh. are screened in. Those over there were not. All about the money. Yeah. Everything around here is about the money. Like I said, the more more you pay, the more you would get. The screened in ones is probably more expensive. Yeah, these are screened in when I was here. Or it could um, be these are dead. Well, I think all these over here that are ready to go now, these are all one bedrooms. All of them. I don't think the two bedrooms are ready to go yet. From what I've read. Well, now, that's been a month ago. Things change quick around here in a month. There's more garages there. Yeah. And so you can see you don't have a lot of storage either. So. Well, I'm looking for golf cart parking. Somebody said they have, oh, right here. Oh, okay. This is golf cart parking. For those of you that don't know the difference, let me show you something. See that space right there in front of me? Right? I can't I can't get out, but right there. See how short those are? That's golf cart parking, people. Don't park your cars there. If your car hangs more than halfway out into the street, guess what? You're in the wrong spot. <laughs> Here's another one. Right there in front of me, there's a place there for two golf carts. Right there next to the garage. See how short they are? Now let's look over here. Oh, see how long those are? That's for cars. I'm always amazed about people who come down here because the parking lot's full and they go, well, I'll just park here in the golf cart parking. You know, I don't know if it would have occurred to me until you said that. <laughs> of course, it's, they're very small, so I wouldn't have got my car in there. But. They do it all the time up north at the grocery store. They go over there in the golf cart parking only area, and there's a sign there that says golf carts only, and you go in there and there'll be four or five cars in there. Why? Because it's real close to the front door. Ollie's ice cream. I went up there one time. You know where the golf cart parking is there? Yeah. There was a car in there. You tell me how that car got in there. <laughs> he must have drove over the curb. This is one way. So, here's the recreation area and postal area. You're going the wrong way. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. That's what the sign says, one way. Right there. It says only carts and there's an exit right up there off oh, you can come in and out both ways okay, that's why, okay. the, that's the, why the road is turned okay but here is your uh, recreation and postal area and the leasing and property management offices i guess are right here yeah wonder if they let us take a look i'm not disconnecting all this <laughs> okay something you and Deb can do. Yeah, I guess we could. I don't think they're open. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure, you know, yeah. they, they do See things. See all these short areas in here that I'm at? All this in here? This is golf cart only parking in here. Only. Let's go on down here and see what else we can find. Oh, you know, the uh, um, design center really, really There's good. There's the pool. I'll probably have to fly shut in because that's on my side camera. And the design center, see how far they're going on that? They're really going to town. It's uh, really coming along. I'm going to go over here and get a picture of this new design center. I've taken pictures of it two or three times as they come along with it. I ain't been down here for a while, so let me, there's nobody here so I can drive in here with the nails. Uh -uh. i got to watch for nails. I don't want to go in here very far. Well, but you can see out of the camera. There's the new design center, which is downtown Brownwood, yeah. straight across the street from Cal's Barbershop and MVP um, Physical Fitness. And if you look over next to them over there across the alley, see that gray and red building, or maroon, whatever you want to call it, two-story building there. That's the uh, village's corporate headquarters. 
So they're kind of keeping everything that they control, which is 90% of everything in every town square, <laughs> but they're kind of keeping everything in one little spot down here. And this is spooky from the, from the street side. Now this is the back side. But like I said, it, once you get used to seeing that open space with this building here now, it's, it's kind of spooky looking. <laughs> As you can see right in front of me is Cal's Barbershop. That's usually where I go get my hair cut. Yeah. And then over here to the right, that great big building is at MPV or MV or whatever MVP. it's called. MVP Athletic Club, exercise place, I guess you could call it. This road here will take you right downtown Brownwood. I don't know what buildings are rented, what ain't rented. It's hard to tell anymore. I, I don't think most of these are rented yet, but they might be. Those are the offices. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's these up here that aren't rented. Yeah. That's going to be a dentist office. Coming soon. As you can see, there's people down here, but um, it's not the buzz of activity that they normally would have, even on a hot day like today. Uh, usually these restaurants, especially outside, they're all full. Usually all the bars outside on a hot day like today are just full. And but they're being careful and, you know, not seating everybody because of the virus, so... They're doing a good job, I think. As we get down here to uh, blue the fan. other side, of, a blue fan is mostly empty. Another popular place for guys to have a beer and a burger is right here to your right. That's Gators. Gators. Uh, as you can see, not, not much going on there either. And Cody's has finally reopened. I'm going to say, I wasn't sure, but I know Cody's is usually the hub of activity, especially outside, but they've been closed. Well, they, I think uh, last week, I think they finally opened. This and, is the uh, back side. This store here to my right is a new store. I don't know if it's open yet. Yeah. It's a mercantile store. It's called the County Courthouse. Some kind. They sell, I don't know what they sell on there. And it's going to be retail, yeah. And this is Cody's here. See if I can get a picture of that. There's the cart path that they're working on. And as you can see, I think what they're doing here, not to the right there where you see that sand all packed down in there, that's going to be where the golf carts drive. To the left, you see another little path that's lined with like orange. I don't know what those are. Orange something. I think that's going to be a walking path. Bravo. So I you, mean, that's brilliant. So you can have a, because they don't have one up at Spanish Springs, but remember we talked about this before. As time goes on and they move to a new area, they learn from possible mistake or they learn of something they can improve and they make changes. The, they don't have a walking path up at Spanish Springs Golf Cart Bridge, which was the, as far as I know, the world's first bridge put in over a major highway only for golf carts. And you can thank Harold Schwartz for that. He's the one that pulled the political polls to get that in. And now this one, but the one up there doesn't have a walking path. And people use it though, they'll walk across it. And I've read reports where it's just a dangerous thing to do. And they, and they don't really want you to do that. I think somebody walked on top of that bridge here a couple of years ago and then jumped off in the, on the highway and committed suicide. Yeah. And then I, I just heard that somebody uh, uh, climbed one of the uh, towers over there and jumped uh, just this last week. So anyway, there's going to be a walking path here. There's a golf cart bridge. This is what takes so long. They're going to truck in all that sand that they, to get you up. And that, goes, that path goes to the bridge, the very first bridge that they set over Highway 44. And that path is going to take you to... Water Lily. I Water mean. Lily. And they got to put another, um, see that when there's green? Mm -hmm. 
that is, believe it or not, that is a native Floridian gecko. <laughs> There's only two. Well, you know, you're telling me, that's, but I don't know if anybody can see that. I'm not talking to you. That's I that think you're like a newel or a knoll, something like that. Mm -hmm. That's one of two native geckos here. All the other geckos are invasive species. Oh, pets. People, Ooh, people, bought, people <laughs> bought these ge uh, chameleons and stuff at the yeah. pet store. Yeah. And then they got out, or they threw them out, or whatever, and then they spread all over Florida. They That'd just, be nice. they just live. As cute as can be. Some of the biggest invasive species here in Florida isn't the pythons actually that people keep talking about it's the plant life that people have in their aquariums and then they decide they don't want the fish and stuff no more so they walk out to the nearest pond and they throw all that stuff in the pond of course the fish will die something's going to eat them but the plant life lives and so now in some of these ponds down here it's gotten so bad they have to go in there and they have to dredge the pond out to clean out all of this plant life that's even not part of Florida. Mm -hmm. Well, and uh, uh, um, this morning there was a very big article uh, about the orange groves disappearing here in Florida and, and what the problem of it was. And that citrus greening. And it's, it's still a problem here. You'd think after 15 years that they'd have a handle on it, but it's still a problem here. This and stuff here that you're looking at, all these golf carts here to the right are rentals. And they can use those rentals in several different ways. One, if you come down and want to rent a golf cart, they can rent you any of these back here. they got hundreds of them. Or if I bring mine in for a golf cart service, because if you buy a new golf cart from the village's golf cart store, they guarantee you for as long as you own that cart, to the first owner anyway, that I never go without a golf cart. So if I bring mine in for service, they just give me one for nothing. And these golf carts over here, also belong to the village of golf cart store. And like I said, there's hundreds of them. There's so many of them you can rent, it's just it's just ungodly real. Now most of them are basic golf carts. You'll notice though, 99% of them are Yamahas and they're gas. Because that's probably the most reliable golf cart around here. Yeah, and they do have, uh, they have two seaters, four seaters. I think there is a six seater too, isn't oh, there? Yeah. Yeah, well, there's uh, there's a six seater right there, that black yeah. one back there. Here's a six seater right here. Here's another six seater. Right, right. All these are six seaters here. Okay. The, the, the back seat can fold down. Yeah. So you have two, four, and six. <laughs> yeah. The six seaters have their purpose, but really, if you, if you come down to villages and ride around, I think you'll see how a four seater's not so bad but a six-seater is just a real pain. Well, it's... You can't park it. See how we can look, look here in front of me. There's yeah. regular two and four-seaters right there. See how mm -hmm. they park? You can't park a six-seater that way. No, you have to park it like a car. You have to park it like a car, which means you take up half of the parking spot. Yeah. Now, is that a big deal? Well, during the summer months, really no. In the winter months, yes. <laughs> parking spots yeah. out of premium. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be able to find a parking spot in the winter time. It's hard to do. <laughs> I was thinking about filling up while I'm here, but I don't like paying the price of gas for this stuff over here. I don't know how to use their pump. Their their pumps ain't right. These are the these are the goofiest gas pumps. They're not like a normal gas pump. What is different? They're not. I don't know. I tried to use them twice, and the credit card thing and the receipt is like on the other side of the pump. It's just they're just goofy. They're not like a, a, a pump at a gas station. Yeah, once you learn how to use them, it probably isn't a big deal. But anyway, I'm just trying to show you how to get in here if you want to come get golf cart gas. Um, some people believe in it. That, the only difference is they don't have ethanol in it. That's, that's the thing. 
And that, that's the difference between golf cart gas and regular gas? Non-ethanol. Oh. Non-ethanol. That's, that's really, it's the same octane, oh, okay. 87 octane non-ethanol, and they call it golf cart gas. And for that, you pay, right now, $4.32 a gallon. <laughs> well, that's crazy. <laughs> but like everything else around here, when it, the developer owns this. It's all about money. You know, you don't have to buy it. You can just do what I do, go to a regular gas station, because all these newer golf carts, it tells you right in the owner's manual, they're made to run on 10% ethanol, so it ain't a big deal. But for convenience sake. For convenience, that's really nice. Yeah, so I'm yeah. down here, I can fill up while I'm down here. But yeah. I just, I'm a, I'm tight ass. So I just cannot see me paying over a dollar a gallon more for gas. And I know somebody's going to say, well, how much can that be? An extra $2 out of your pocket? <laughs> well, hey, my mom made a complete living out of saving her pennies. <laughs> So have I seen everything down here that I need to see? Yes. Okay. So this is in front of the golf cart store. I'm going down here and I'm going to take the uh, golf cart path out of here. And how you know where the golf cart path is when you're down here running around? Because at nighttime it's different. Notice the Citizens Bank. Use that as a guide. Citizens Bank. Go past Citizens Bank. Back side of Citizens Bank is where the other golf cart path is. Go past Citizens Bank to this real narrow turn lane. Notice this cars. See how narrow this turn lane is? That means it's not for you. And get on the golf cart path. And then this golf cart path will take you over there where the roundabout is for golf carts. Go the take, other direction. I'm going to take you the other direction to show you the difference in it. And the, the, we came in through the double tunnels to come in this way. And this is the same path that I brought in, except I took the path over here. Well, you can't tell, but over to the right and went in front of the loss of groundwork. Now, this is one of the few golf cart roundabouts. To the right, right here is the double tunnel. So, this is where I came. So if I was to turn right to that double tunnel right there and go back the same way I came, but we're not going that way, I'm going this way. And then you take the second turn to the right, and that takes me to the other side of Buena Vista. It's one of the few golf cart roundabouts. So, if you're in a roundabout, and you're not sure where you're at, <laughs> like I said, if it's, not, if it's not there, you're probably in the wrong place. Other than the one at Spanish Springs up there by the hospital, if you're in a roundabout with cars, get out of it. You're not supposed to be in there. Yeah, like I said, there, there's very few golf cart roundabouts. As far as I know, this is the only one. Except that one at Spanish Springs where you share it with cars, and that was a big mistake. Yeah. People get hit up there all the time. We're in front of Eisenhower Rec Center right now. And I said all the rec centers are closed. But the outside sports are open. So your pickleball, uh, tennis. I've done too many videos of Eisenhower. I'm not even going to go in there. As you can see, just how easy it is to be on one side or the other. On the, like I say, on the right side over there, out of that front camera, you can probably see that golf cart over there. That's the way we came in. So if you want to go home this way, go by the Eisenhower Center or whatever, and then head to our home. To head to <coughs> Hillsboro, or Dunedin, or Lake Deaton, or any of that area. Well, actually, if you wanted to head over to, uh, uh, Pine Hills or any of that, you got to go down Hillsborough Trail. You can go this way also. It's not any further, I don't think. Well, it might be just a, a hair, but it's not that far. Once yeah. you get on the golf cart trail on this side, if you want to head to Hillsborough or Evans Prairie, you just get on the trail and just keep going. You can't get lost.
Now this trail goes under the road up here and will link you with the golf cart trail that will take you to Evans Prairie. takes us underneath the Buena Vista and then it'll tee off. Where it tees off here, there are signs up there, north and south. If you turn left, that's the way to go to Evans Prairie. If you turn right, you're going to come up here. And there's a little cautionary place right up here. Just to kind of look over your shoulder and make sure there's nobody coming. It's right here. There's no golf cart coming because we're merging into this golf cart trail. And I still think there should be a sign on both places. And then here's the uh, resident entrance to uh, Hillsboro right here.
until then, I guess me and Sue will. See you on the other side.